Behind the gilded halls and grandeur of royal palaces lies a tapestry of emotions, woven with the threads of personal stories and shared history. Such is the case with recent removal of a group portrait that once celebrated the late Queen's golden wedding anniversary, a decision that has ignited curiosity and sparked conversations about the intricacies of royal emotions. In 1997, a milestone year for Queen Elizabeth II and Prince Philip, a vibrant tableau was commissioned to commemorate their 50 years of marriage. The distinguished artist Andrew Festing deftly captured the essence of the royal couple and their jubilant guests, frozen in time against the backdrop of Windsor Castle. So delighted was Her Majesty with the artwork that she bestowed it a place of honour in the saloon at Sandringham, the cherished Norfolk retreat, where the royal family gathers to unwind. Yet, as the saying goes, behind every picture lies a story untold. A recent twist in this tale has captured public attention. The portrait, once a beacon of joy and togetherness, has been taken down. The reason? A poignant one. King Charles, heir to the throne and son of the celebrated couple, has chosen to remove the painting from its cherished spot. The decision might appear surprising at first glance, especially considering the sentimental value the portrait holds. However, as insiders reveal, there's a deeper layer of emotion at play. The painting, while commemorating a joyous occasion, also acts as a poignant reminder of one of the darkest years in King Charles's life. The gathering depicted in the portrait took place a mere three months after the tragic car crash that claimed the life of Princess Diana. The sombre figure of Charles, captured with a drink in hand and a pensive expression, stands alone amidst the gathering of senior royals and foreign dignitaries. The image serves as a snapshot of a complex time in the royal family's history, one marked by joy tinged with sorrow. While Buckingham Palace declined to comment on the matter, a royal source disclosed. From time to time, displays on the visitor route at Sandringham are adapted. This subtle revelation hints at the depths of emotions that the royal family navigates behind closed doors. The legacy of Prince Philip, the longest serving consort in British history, is etched into every corner of the portrait. His unwavering dedication to duty, even amidst personal sacrifices, shines through. His role was not just defined by the public appearances, but also by the countless hours spent supporting Queen Elizabeth II in her royal duties. His loyalty and strength bolstered the monarchy, and his absence after his passing reverberates deeply within the royal family. This painting, now removed from its pedestal, serves as a visual metaphor for the ebbs and flows of royal emotions. It encapsulates joy, sorrow, duty and remembrance all in one brushstroke. King Charles's decision to take down the portrait is a powerful reminder that the lives of the royals, though cloaked in ceremony, are woven with the same threads of human emotions that connect us all. As we reflect on the portrait's removal, we gain a rare glimpse into the personal journey of a king-to-be. A journey marked by triumphs and tribulations, love and loss, duty and devotion. This decision, laden with emotions, encourages us to see beyond the glamour of the monarchy and appreciate the shared humanity that unites us all. In the end, it's not just a portrait being taken down, it's a chapter in a story that continues to unfold, one brushstroke at a time.